Alrighty, g'day collaborators and welcome back to Homeworld 2. Now, this is going to be a bit of a different thoughts episode than before. Uh, mainly because I wanted to precisely show you why exactly that I love this game. Because the the campaign wasn't what le allowed me to fall in love with this game. Absolutely not. Um, and as you can tell from my reactions to the last mission, um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't hold a very happy place in my heart, which is a bit of a shame. And I just wanted to give you a, an opportunity to realize what exactly made me fall in love with this game. And it is the following. It is, in fact, very much the following. Um, the fact, this, this. Just, it's just this. Um, doing, doing skirmishes is what made me fall in love with um, Homeworld instead of doing the campaigns. Because the campaigns, as you can see, were kind of trash. Um, it's the, oh, it's at the bottom, so I have to... Because um, I never really... I, I, as I said before in my um, series, I never I never really finished Homeworld. Um, I didn't actually finish the campaign back when I was a kid. Um, and I'm, I'm happy I managed to finish it today, but... Well, in this day and age. But, yeah, no, this, this it's just... It's not. It's not how I fell in love with it. It was. It was in the. Um, New fighters available for construction. It was in the skirmish mode. Roger. Construction underway. Assembly underway. Assembly underway. So yeah, now it's good that you'll finally be able to get a um a look as to why I in fact love this game. Resource collector. So yeah, that's what. That's why I'm doing this now. Um, because the, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> because the, um, the campaign is not what made me love the game, and it remains this way. Um, let go ahead and get some resource collectors over there as well. Four, maybe six would be fine. How many do I have? Alright, yes, I've got six there at the moment, so I can just make a couple more. Production underway. In interceptor squadron complete. Um, I need a corvette facility. I need a frigate facility. Underway. Copy. Oh, actually, you shouldn't have a frigate facility. So one of the big differences between Vega and Higar, and so of course I'm playing the Higar at the moment. Uh, but one of the big differences between the two is that the Vega carriers can only have one facility on them, and that's actually a really smart idea. Um, because you don't want to, you don't want to split your, um, uh, Copy. you don't want to split your production in. between more Intra vessels, or between less vessels because then you won't be able to build as fast, um, which is a good thing to Mother keep in mind. Capital ship facility complete. New capital ship available for construction. Ready. Standing by. Group one. So build at least one more carrier. Production underway. Roger. And I'm going to send that carrier. I guess I could send my carrier over here so I can keep that under control. Reporting. Collection confirmed. New upgrades available. Carrier Corvette facility complete. New Corvette. Well, since this is the fighter in Corvette. Roger. Interceptor squadron complete. Assembly underway. Construction underway. That's the fighter in Corvette carrier, so. I need my hyperspace Production module and underway. advanced research module. Copy. I usually put the advanced Earth research Earth module Earth. in this carry over here. I need my destroyer. Mothership. Well, actually, you don't need a frigate facility. My carrier that I'm going to send over here is going to have the frigate facility. Interceptor squadron. And it's important not complete. to overbuild at the moment because Confirm. you know I'm running out of resources Standing by. and that's not group a good thing one. to run out of group one reinforced it's gonna make sure that I can build my hyperspace module carrier complete good news ready and like just the fact that this is how just like capital class ships gets built from the Higaran capital ship is uh, the Higaran mothership is just fucking beautiful like look at this look at that it it opens up an entire section of the hull and then lets the ship out and then the hull closes again like Roger. Assembly underway. 
Why? Why is this so amazing? <laughs> And it makes like complete. alarm sounds and little available. hydraulic New hissing noises and oh, fucking hell, available. dude. Mothership hyperspace module complete. Understood. You should probably confirm. Close it, mate. Green line confirmed. Mothership. Copy. Production it's also it's important underway. to get a shipyard as fast as you can. So I'm gonna run out of resources. That's fine. That's part of the process. Reporting. Is there any more resources up and down? Because usually there's some resources in tricky positions. Uh, but it doesn't seem like there is any in this one. Is there any resources on the outside? Interceptor no, that's, that's a bit of the, the background. Standing by. Group one copies. Group um, one reinforced. Can't remember who I'm versing. Guard order confirmed. So it's probably a good idea to Mothership. get a probe out there. And I'm Production also underway. going Mothership. to put my New upgrades available. Carrier Rally frigate point facility on that complete. Carrier. New frigates available for construction. Good. Mothership. Ready. Construction underway. Because now I need that advanced research module in order to um, build those frigates. Insufficient build resources. Frigates. Upgrades. Hard. It's always good to get the improved um, upgrades. Um, and maybe even that one. It's good. Mothership. And the faster I can get a shipyard, the better. But also, I need to make sure that I'm defending my borders. So, borders. If I can get another resource troop over in this field here, that'd be brilliant because that'd be suffocating them. But at the same time, securing more. Reporting. Moving to destination. So we'll see if I can see if there's actually opportunity to do that. It's not good to send only one type of vessel, but. I don't really have much of a choice at the moment, do I? But anyway, it's 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 this that allowed me to fall in love with the game. It's a sort of like isolation. It's the um, oh, an inhibitor field. There's a carrier there. Group one entering hyperspace inhibitor field. Ah, oh, there's no one here at the moment, but there's a there's close enough to there for the um, hyperspace inhibitor to affect me. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and grab some, I'm going to start making a destroyer when I can, um, and I'm going to get you to build, oh, well, you're already building bombers, that's okay, um, but I do want someone to build some more resource collectors. So this way I can build six resource collectors real quick. Um, I'm going to do this so I get that shipyard first. Like this. And then I can probably send this mobile refinery over there. I'll send you over. And I'm going to prevent one of these being built. Because it's, it's really inefficient to have resource collectors waiting, so... These guys are fine. I've got 96 resources here. Oh shit. Strike group reports hostile contact. Take the damage, please. Group one warning. Entering hyperspace inhibitor field. They got the drop on me. So right now. I'm pretty sure the, the music was supposed to start, but this this is also why I fell in love with it. Because like you got this guy targeting this guy, and then these guys fighting off this guy to that. That's oh. There's just so much good shit happening right now. Um, and I feel like I'm actually outclassed here. Yeah, I'm outclassed. I need to go. I need to retreat. Upgrade complete. Retreat. Why are you stopping? Bitch, why are you stopping? Because now I'm actually losing all of my ships. And they can't actually... Ah. That's a bit of a shame. Well... <laughs> I need myself some gunships. Roger. Hyperspace inhibitor detected. Resource collector complete. Let me leave. <laughs> so yeah. Collector under attack. Standing by. Supporting friendly units. Ready. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resource as much as I can. Actually, no, it's a bad idea. Get that. Get out of here. Alrighty. Standing by. Move order confirmed. 
So I do need. Let's see. So I've got I've got that advanced ship, which is good news. So I can get my flak frigates if I need. So flak frigates go down like pansies, so I don't really want any. Gunships are where it's at. Torpedo frigates aren't going to do much, but you know it's something. I kind of I kind of broke the hive there, which is not good. <laughs> Alerted the horde. Mothership. Standing by. Strike group. Prepare for assault. Ah, I don't like it how the music's bugged though. The music's not supposed to be bugged, obviously. Oh now you're destroying them. Why all of a sudden you're so powerful? Seriously, you've taken off three squadrons when when fucking four V four I everyone on my team died. Okay, now you're dying, okay that's fair enough. Gunship squadron complete. Okay, so now what I want to do is increase the movement speed of my gunships um, and the movement speed of my interceptors and bombers so that I can actually escape better. So these torpedo frigates obviously aren't the best of dealing with fighters, but these gunships are absolutely the best of dealing with these fighters. See? And like these fighters, these assault craft are not at all good at dealing with gunships. But these frigates here can destroy those frigates. So long as I've got, um, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got advanced torpedoes, improved torpedoes. So you guys are group two because you do better against corvettes, and you do better against capital class ships, which I don't have any of. Well, capital class ships and frigates. That's always the differences. Destination locked in. Coordinates confirmed. Okay, so I can't remember what I was talking about before. Torpedo frigate. But even without the music, this is still pretty friggin' beautiful. Group two copies. Ready. Insufficient resources. Upgrades paused. Group two reinforced. So now we've got Group some corvettes to deal with. That's what you guys are good at. Lance fighters are good at corvettes, but these guys are good against uh, uh, fighters, which is a bit of a mix. Ready. Group two. Group two assign. Group one standing by. Gunship squadron complete. Upgrade. So it's a bit of a difficulty here, but I think the corvettes went out just slightly. Yeah, the corvettes went out. Resource collector complete. Jesus Dock Christ. Carrier. Ready. Frigate lost. Bomber squadron complete. Yeah, I bet that frigate's lost. Reporting. Engage capital ship. Roger. Group four designated. Actually, no, you're technically group Mother. three, but... Okay, the shipyard has arrived. Roger. Construction Get that capital away. class facility. You need to build a couple more. Earth's Bombers. Gunships, pulse gunships, interceptors. I love having a spread of um a spread of things. Group two standing by. Acknowledge. Docking with carrier. Group one reporting. Strike group reports hostile contact. Docking with carrier. Docking with carrier. But yeah. This is a lot I'm playing a lot more aggressively than I'm usually playing. Which is a bit strange for me, but um Understood. Why are you stopping, Doc? Doc, damn you! God damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Group two standing by. Torpedo frigate under attack. Group one reporting. They've got my lance fighters here, which is not good news for me. Because uh, I, I like building corvettes. So, uh, you are group four. Group four reporting. Engage capital ship. Roger. Group four copies. Bomber squadron complete. Engage capital ship. Standing by. Hyperspace inhibitor detected. Mm -hmm. Group one. Strike group attack order confirmed. Strike group to battle positions. Resource collector taking. So I'm playing a lot more aggressively than I usually play, um, which is astounding for me. I, I reckon. Gotta get rid of those lance fighters first, eh? Group 
two copies. Group four reporting. Attack coordinates. Um. So I, I don't use, I don't ever play this aggressively. Group four standing by. Strike group under enemy attack. Attacking capital ship. Strike group coordinates locked in. I want to get rid of those capital missile corvettes so strike group receiving fire. my guys don't get Jack killed. Group one standing by. Drawing heavy fire. Group two. Group four. Group two. Group one reporting. Strike group under enemy attack. Get rid of that capital ship facility. Group one. Yeah. So anyway. Um, but it's this sort of shit that really enamored me with, um... Ah, oh, shit. Because that assault frigate's gonna get rid of all my fighters, which is not good. I need more. I need, I need another... I essentially need another fucking, um... Another Corvette builder. I need my battle cruisers to be constructed, and you can start building that. Um, I want you to just build more destroyers. Go for it. Carrier. Um, I think I need another carrier, so I'm gonna go and do that. You build more torpedo frigates and iron cannon frigates. Pulsar gunship squadron complete. Group two, copy. Yeah, nah, my Under bombers attack. are all dead. Group one, engage capital ship. Group one reporting. <laughs> Moving while engaging. Strike group coordinates locked in. Capital ship locked in. Group one, copy. So, yeah. To battle position. Group four, standing by. Shipyard so if I can kill their shipyard, that'd be bloody brilliant. Well, their their assault craft, are, of course, are attacking my my assault my big boys. So, um, which is not good news for me, but it's not the worst thing ever. I need to get some flak frigates up in here. You are my group three because you're better against um corvettes and whatnot. Carrier complete. No, frigates. Yeah, frigates. I said frigates. I'm pretty sure I said frigates. New upgrades available. Capital ship locked in. Yeah, shit. Well, if I manage to kill their shipyard, that'll set them back a good amount. So now the carrier is complete. Good. I need another one of these. Move order confirmed. Assembly underway. Entering hyperspace inhibitor field. Assembly underway. Ready. Assembly underway. Pulsar gunship squadron complete. Group 3 reports victory. Roger. Nice. Three Destroyed their shipyard. Strike group under enemy attack. Black frigate complete. Group oh, now my group 3 is going to die. Oh, my group 1 is going to die. That's for group sure. Group three. That's the sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> so these... Oh, what are you doing, bombers? Lost. Acknowledged. Docking with carrier. Group one standing by. Strike group prepare for assault. Strike group report. Oh, what are you doing? Contact. Oh, actually, no. It's, it's good that you're going that way. Actually. Supporting friendly units. Standing by. Carrier fighter facility complete. Strike group receiving fire. Copy. Come back this way. Actually, no. Come over. Come over here. Group four reinforced. Strike group moving into position. Group two moving while engaging. So obviously these bombers and lance fighters are going to take care of my uh, destroyer, which is going to be a bad news for me, but at the end of the day, well, if I get my flak frigate over here real quick, that'd be very nice. I'm going to get a, not a research module, a hyperspace module over here. I'm going to get a gravity well generator and a gravity well generator over here. So you can build more interceptors, please. Because that's not good news. Yeah, nah, you guys, you guys are gonna die, so get out of there, please. Enemy contact. Docking with carrier. Friendly's under fire. Moving in. Taking damage. Why aren't you, why aren't you docking? One copy. Docking with carrier. Carrier. Ready. Confirmed. Roger. Group two nope. standing by. Carrier Corvette facility complete. Attacking capital ship. 
Group one reporting. Got a destroyer on my hands. Copies. Group two copies. Hyperspace inhibitor detected. Strike group to battle positions. Definitely need more Ion cannon frigate. flak frigates. Continue. Flak frigates are good. Flak frigates are very good at their job at destroying Bomber fighters, squadron. which is good news. Confirm. Group four reporting. Group four reinforced. Strike group reports hostile contact. Ready. Group one. Destroyer complete. Reporting. Pulsar gunships are Deployed good against complete. frigate the uh, corvettes, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Strike group attack. And you're good against. Yeah, yeah. Hyperspace inhibitor detected. So I guess. Strike group reports mm. hostile contact. Combat stations look sharp. Group three copies. Drawing heavy fire. Interceptor squadron complete. Group two. Group three has defeated the enemy. Group three reporting. Strike group prepare for assault. Four, group one. Ion cannon frigate. I should actually make. Here's another destroyer for me. Bomber squadron complete. Um. Mothership. Group four copies. Strike group coordinates locked in. And another destroyer. Four reporting. Confirm. Friendlies under fire. Moving in. Yeah, not like. This is the most aggressive I've ever played. So, I've finally got a moment to think, which is good news. Group 4 reports enemy contact. Group 1 under attack. Group 3 reports enemy contact. Hyperspace inhibitor detected. It's a very risky move, kid. Hyperspace inhibitor field. Interceptor squadron complete. Acknowledged. Group 1 copies. Do I have a, I, when I have a, when I, when I finally get a battle cruiser. Copies. My rally point is going to be that battle cruiser. So right now I'm going to use my veteran, my veteran destroyer as my rally object, because uh, it's a better idea. New formation acknowledged. Group two reporting. Group four copies. Strike group moving into position. New formation acknowledged. Strike group attack order confirmed. Hmm. Gunship squadron complete. Strike group receiving fire. Group one standing by. Target confirmed. Interceptor squadron complete. Group four copies. On our way. Strike group moving into position. Reporting. Group one reporting. Group one copies. Strike group receiving fire. Group four reporting. I've only got group one torpedo reporting. frigate. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> Roger. Built group five more of those. Enemy contact. Assembly underway. Standing by. Construction underway. Construction underway. I really should stagger them, so I'm gonna go. Confirmed. Ready. Under fire. Requesting orders. Group one under attack. Okay, there we go. Gunship squadron complete. Roger. Standing by. Group now I have no more in group, group two. All group three, which is not good news. Group one reports enemy combat. When do I'm gonna have a battle cruiser? Oh, jeez, it's gonna take a while. So I want you to build two battle cruisers when you can. Um, and I will be needing another carrier. I can't have any more carriers, so you're going to be my other frigate facility. Group one reporting. Group one under attack. Lock all weapons on target. I like it out. I like it out the uh, the um, the resource collectors will just patiently wait their turn, even if they're friendly or enemies. Uh, where's my group four? I need you to destroy the. Gravity well generator. Where is it? Under attack. What's the call? Strike group oh, did he have it on his um, other ship? Yeah, no, he had it on his other ship. So, heavy fire. get rid of the hyperspace module. Group two. Group two, standing by. two and three are better against platforms, I assume. <laughs> under fire. Moving in. Well, I definitely know that. Um, Bomber squadron complete. Under fire. Requesting orders. Taking damage, please. Strike group under enemy attack. Group one reporting. Mothership so that's the best. That's one of the other. Like I'm, I know I said this during my um, campaign, but one of the best things I love about it is that you can you can have them you can have them attack everything, and they'll immediately target the thing they're automatically best at. 
So these destroyers are of course attacking the flagship and all the little guys are attacking the little guys and oh And this is about being wrapped up So I hope you got an understanding as to what exactly drew me to this game when I was a kid um, Even though that this is one of the shorter games I've ever played because of how aggressively I did but like It's it's this shit that enamored me with this the fact that you know If I just if I just turn off all of these HUDs elements and everything like this this is this is what it's about like <laughs> just group 4 standing by subsystem target acquired group 2 reporting strike group attack order confirmed strike group reports hostile contact torpedo frigate complete guidance failure we're losing control battle cruiser complete getting banged around here it's so it's just, it's just, it's so, it's something else. It's a majesty. It's just an absolute majesty. Like that gun, sh that destroyer is dead, but he's still trying to fight, and then he dies, and then oh, he just explodes, and ah, <laughs> oh, you got the pulsar gunships going around, and oh, Jesus Christ. And then now he's trying to jump away. Because he's about to die. I'm pretty sure he just died. Docking with carrier. Interceptor squadron complete. No. Nope. <laughs> he's right there, Lamau. Standing by. Stay on top of them. Group one. Yep, he's dead. Acknowledged. Group three. Strike group receiving fire. Docking with carrier. Like. Damn it. Nothing remains. Just. Damn it. <laughs> So yeah, that's that. This is why I love Homeworld. This is why I fell in love with it because it's it's a masterclass of tactic. Of I if I can speak, masterclass of tactics and management and resource management and like squad management and it's just it, it's fantastic. And you can also put massive amounts of strategy in the game where you can decide. All right. Um, I'm gonna hyperspace all my big guys behind them and send all my little guys in front of them so my little guys will draw the attention of their um, army and then my big guys will come in from behind and destroy their capital ship. You can do that! You can do that! And that's... And, and, and there's no other games that I've played, no other space games that I've played except for one first-person shooter that deals with space in a 3D environment. It's the only truly 3D movement game that I've ever played. Because when you think about games like... Um, for example, if we just use one of the main ones, like COD, for instance, it's technically a 2D, 3D game. It's a 2.5D almost, because, sure, it's it's a 3D game, and you can look in all six axes and whatnot, and you can do all that sort of thing, but when it comes down to it, your movement... Okay, so it's okay. It's a 3D game, but it's 2D movement. Your movement is constrained to that plane of where the ground is, and that's all it is. Um, you got games like... Um, I suppose, is it, was it Ghosts or Black Ops 2? I can't remember that. Put, like, exosuits and jetpacks on where you could do wall running and shit like that. Um, but definitely Titanfall. Titanfall added a, a second element to that where you could, like, run about the places and whatnot. But when it comes down to it, you're still only going across planes of movement. With this, though, it's truly 100% 3D motion. And when you look at games like... Uh, 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 Command and Conquer, for instance, that is another 2D plane of movement game because you've got a map that you can look at, and then it's only you can only do in those two axes there. But this one allows you to have a bloody six direction pincer move if you want. You can have your bombers coming in from this direction, another set of bombers coming in from this direction, your capital class ships coming from this direction, you can have interceptors coming from the top of below, and you can have corvettes coming from like you could do that if you want if you can set it up. And then when you when you actually pull it off, that's when it's like. Mm. That's when, that's when you get those sorts of excellent things. And that's why I fell in love with Homeworld 2. Not the campaign mode. The campaign mode for me is an absolute miss. Uh, for most, like, most of it's okay, but it's just that last mission that's an absolute miss for me. They could have done something new, they could have done something better, but as it stands, it's really, it's kind of anticlimactic when it comes down to it. Because, um, like I said, during the campaign, it requires you to be very fast and reactive, whereas the rest of the game is all about slow and tactical. Um, and when your ships are designed to be slow and tactical, so it's 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 it the the reason like it's not hard, 
when it comes down to it, all you have to do is just put your ships in the area where the missiles are going to be, and then that's it. But the problem that I face with it, the biggest problem that I face with it, is that you have to have foreknowledge of the mission in order to actually do it properly. None of the other missions required you to have foreknowledge. Um, I mean, it helps, definitely, but... None of the other missions required you to have full knowledge in order for you to actually do it correctly. So when I finally got to that last mission, the first time I've ever done that last mission, I freaked out because none of my, none of my, none of the lessons that I've learned up to that point helped me at all. At all. It, nothing, nothing helped me at all with that. And that's kind of like, that's why I, <laughs> I freaked out as much as I did because of the fact that that last mission required you to have foreknowledge, foreplanning, and none of the none of the things I'd learned up to that point actually mattered at all. I don't know how to make a better final mission for Homeworld 2, and that's that's something that really uh, frustrates me, I suppose, but I don't know, I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is this is why I fell in love with Homeworld. It's, it's an amazing strategy game, it's an amazing just game in general, and the atmosphere and, and like, the, the ambience and just you, you, your ships talking to each other, your ships c calling in with like code reds and home, hull breaches and things like that and you know the fact that when you've got too, like, too many ships they'll just say oh this is a cakewalk sort of thing, when you've got too many collectors they'll tell you there's too many collectors here, you know. Um, all those sorts of things put you into the role of being a commander and like it's, it's, it's brilliant in how it does this. Um, but yeah, as I was saying this is a very... Mm, where's my mask on? It's disappeared. There we go. As I was saying, it's a very... This was a very short round because... You now it's only 26 minutes. It's a very short round because, um, you know, I was, I was playing very aggressively, but that's something that you can do. You can, one of the, the main tactic that I like to do is play very defensively, where I, I build all of my ships at my home base, and I get, like... I don't attack until I have, like, three battle cruisers and six destroyers and a whole, like, a massive amount of squadron of fighters and corvettes, and then I just, I just steamroll, and that's what I used to do, and that's what I actually love doing, but today I decided, you know what, I'm going to play very fast and very aggressively, because I didn't want this video to go too long. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so that's, I hope, I hope this gave you a understanding and reasoning as to why I love this game so much. It's not to do with the campaign, it's to do with the feeling of everything. It's the feeling of being a commander, and it's the, it's the um, aspect of, you know, your ships going all over the place, and, um, you know, it's, it's incredible. It's an incredible, it's an incredible feeling to play this game, and um, it's, it's a real shame that that wasn't replicated in the, um, the campaign. Uh, so, yeah. No worries, uh, but that's the end of Homeworld. I probably won't do another series on this unless I do something different, but <laughs> at the end of the day, um, that's it from me for today. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, but as for now, this is Quill and I signing off. Goodbye, and good luck.